Good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Good. We're going to wait for the rest people to join. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. Today is Friday, which is good. We finished today the first week of classes. So first of all, of course, we're gonna check about the platform. This is it. And this is the question for today. And remember to make the exercise 1.9. 
which is going to be for you to type again. So it's very important uh, that you remember that one little thing, one little space, a period or a period that is not there, punctuation, some uh, things that are going to cause this to be incorrect. So give it a shot and let me know if something's going on. Perfect, we are going to check then the attendance. So, Ada, Susana, Cáceres, Mendoza. Good, got you. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Good. Dani Josué García Martínez. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Good. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Iliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Bran Mejía. Present teacher. Good. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Good. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. Sonia Guadalupe Benítez de Claros. Suleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Very good. So we're going to start the class of today. We have a homework, but we're not going to do that yet. So we're going to wait a little bit more. I hope you're ready for this. And uh, we're going to start. Uh, okay, Jose, Jose Rivas. Good. Got you. Yeah, sorry. So, sorry, teacher. No worries. Going to check it out right now. Good. Perfect. Okay. Very good. So we're going to start today with a little test. Aha. Uh -huh. But we're going to do the test together, okay? So it's going to be very easy. And let's see how it goes. So it's just uh, a few questions and we are going to check together what are the answers. It's just for us to check uh, the English level that we have or if we need something for us to, to analyze, to to review okay so uh, some of the questions are very good uh, very easy i mean the first one it says can i park here uh -huh. what would be the answer for this only for a half an hour very good everybody agrees yes i agree yes very good only for half an hour look at the expression half an hour Okay, no, no half hour, no, nothing like that. It's going to be half an hour. Half an hour, half an hour, okay. That is important, okay. Uh, number two, what color will you paint the children's bedroom? We can decide. We can, we can decide. We yeah, can. We, can, we can decide. Very good, seems that we agree, very nice. Number three, I can't understand this email. Would you like some help? Would you like some help? Everybody agrees? Yes. Yeah. Very good. So, would you like some help? Okay. I like two tickets for tomorrow night. How much do you pay? How much do you pay? Okay, everybody agrees? No. No. I'll, I'll, just, mm -hmm. check, I'll just check I'll for just you. I'll just check for you. You. Okay. I'll, I'll just, just check for you. Okay, I'll just check for you. Okay. So let's analyze this one. It says, I would like, so you are requesting something, right? So, and you say, I'll just check for you. Very good. Let's see number five. Shall we go to the gym now? I'm too tired. 
I'm too tired. Everybody I'm tired. agrees? Yes. Yes. Very well. Let's continue. Okay, number six. His eyes were. Aha. Uh -huh. Take your time, don't worry. His eyes were so bad that he couldn't read the number plate of the car in front. So bad. So Every, bad. Everybody agrees? So, so there are yep. two so. Okay, so let's check it out. Number seven, the company needs to decide. First. First. First and once. 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 And for all. Yeah. Once. Once, once. once and for all. Uh -huh. what, it's, what it's position and it is, is on this point. Okay. Once. Like, de una vez por todas. It's okay? Yeah. It's, it's, uh -huh. That is the expression in Spanish. Yeah. Once yeah. and for all. Okay. Very good. Number eight. Don't put your cup on the H. Yeah. H. H. Everybody agrees. Yes. Okay, let's check it on H. Number nine. I'm sorry I didn't. I didn't mean mean. 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 Very good. Everybody agrees on this? Mm -hmm. Good. Number 10. The singer ended the concert. Bye. Bye. With? With? with. Her most popular song. Yeah, with her, her, most, with popular her most popular song. With. With. Okay. Everybody agrees on this? Yes. Yeah. With. Okay. So let's move on. Number 11. Would you mind? Giving. Giving? Giving. giving. Everybody agrees on giving or? Mind for getting. Getting. Um. Mm -hmm. We have Maybe? one getting and two giving. I'm sorry. Making doing. <laughs> okay, no. so this is a tough one. We have making, doing, getting, and giving. Maybe here, what we need to remember is what is to wipe. Hace unas horas durante la madrugada llegamos. Mm. Why is it clean? Why is it clean? Yeah. So then, if you know what is wipe, what is the verb that goes with wipe? Making, doing, getting, getting. or giving. Ha, uh -huh. we have two gettings. Making. Making. Making this place a wipe. Mm -hmm. A wipe. Mm -hmm. A wipe. We need to agree. What do I set? You tell me. I don't know anything right now. In Spanish, it will be give. Okay, giving the plates a wipe. That's or Spanish. Dar, yeah. dar, dar, dar como una, como se Carlos. Okay. Some like that, yeah. Uh -huh. So for me it's giving, but for you it's giving. Yeah. What about getting? For me it's giving too. Okay, two giving. Two mine. Giving. Getting. Getting. Okay. Let's do something. So we are democratic here. For, We're uh huh. Uh, no, for me is for me, okay, is giving because getting um is like 
to obtain, but giving is to to obviously to give uh, something in order to um, uh, or or giving something uh, to a person or to a thing some something that that it needs okay okay but okay get, uh -huh. but but get it's like to obtain given is ob ob obtain yeah. obtain some something that uh, this uh, thing or or person uh, gives to you okay okay it makes sense let's make something okay let's uh, vote remember that this is practice and we actually were going to do different tests throughout this model so we can identify if we need to review some topics so by now this is just a test for you uh, for us to check what what we will decide okay. in a test so go ahead with the game Okay, so uh, let's vote. Fernando, which one do you believe is the first one? I mean, the correct one. I agree with giving. Giving. After the explanation. Okay, giving. Juan Miguel, giving, of course, right? Yeah, giving. Okay, two givings. Jose Wilfredo. Yeah, that's right, giving. Giving, three giving. Jose Rivas. Oh, he's at the supermarket, I guess. Maria Alejandra. Yes, you're giving. Giving, for giving. Heidi. Uh, giving. Giving. Yeah, I believe giving is going to win, right? Ana Claudia? Uh, I didn't hear very well the explanation, but I guess it's giving. <laughs> okay. Let's then set giving. We are going to check, of course. So, oh number 12. I was looking forward. Uh -huh. To it. To it. Everybody agrees? Yes. No eating. I... <gasps> I'm sorry. <laughs> eating. 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 Okay, we mm -hmm. have two. Uh, to to eat. it. And eating uh, three to eat, and uh, maybe one or two more to eat three. or eating to eat three, four to eat. Okay, well, let's go with to eat and let's see what happens. <laughs> Number 13. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No matter who. No matter how, right? How? No, no matter, matter how. how. So, yeah, no matter how. Yeah, no matter how. Okay. No matter how. No matter how. So everybody agrees on this one. Yeah. Perfect. No matter how tired Melissa is when she gets home from work, she always makes time to say good night to the children. That is a good thing. Number 14, it was only 10 days ago. Since. Hmm. Since. Since. Since, 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 since. Okay, we agree on this one. Since number 15, the shop didn't have the shoes I wanted, but Dave, they are ordered. Order. Yeah, order. Okay, everybody agrees on order? Yes. 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 Good. And we have the last part. This is a very short test. Sometimes we're going to do tests of 50 or 60 questions. Let's see how it goes. Number 16, have you got time to discuss your work now or are you? About? About. Planning, planning to live. Thinking. Plan about thinking. Mm -hmm. About thinking. Thinking. About about so we are between i guess thinking and about thinking 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 uh -huh. okay let's vote let's see how it goes again anna claudia Think. thinking okay one thinking iliana giselle 
I think more about. About one and one. Jose Wilfredo. Uh, thinking. Thinking. Yeah, yeah, thinking. Okay. Two thinking, one about. Jose Rivas. For me, it's about. Not here. Maria Alejandra. Yes, about, say, Jose. <laughs> thinking. <laughs> uh, thinking. No, that was uh, another person. Thinking. Three thinking and one about. Heidi. About. Three thinking, two about. Roberto Orellana. Ah, he is not here. Marcus. About. About. Three and three. Fernando. Uh -huh. Thinking. Thinking. Four thinking, three about. Uh, Suleyma Yvonne. Not possible. Um, Danny, Josue. For me, it's about. About. Oh, my goodness. This is four and four. Uh, Jose Wilfredo, did you say that already? Yep, I said uh, thinking. Okay, so we are four and four. And from the people that is here, I guess the only one that has not said anything is Juan Miguel. So Juan Miguel, about, you say, about. About, okay. about it. yeah. Let's take about. This was a very tough one. Let's see what happens in the results. <laughs> okay, about. Just for one vote. Let's check number 17. She came to live here. Almost. 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 Everybody agrees on this. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Almost it will be. Number 18. Once the plane is in the air, you can. Unlo unlock. 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 Yeah. Unlock. 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 So everybody agrees in unlock. Number 19, I left my last job because I had no opportunity. opportunity. Possibility. 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 Everybody agrees on possibility? Mm, I think it could opportunity. be opportunity. Mm, opportunity. Opportunity or possibility. Do we vote? <laughs> Opportunity. Opportunity, I guess. Opportunity. Okay, let's vote. Let's be democratic again. We are going to do this every time that we are not decided, but of course, we are going to check then. Marcus, you're the first one. Um, possibility. Possibility one, Juan Miguel. Uh, yeah, possibility. Possibility two, Danny. Opportunity. Opportunity one, possibility two. Jose Rivas. Not here. Maria Alejandra. Opportunity. Opportunity three, possibility one. Is that correct? Yeah, right. Heidi. Oh my God, I'm not teacher. Oh, you need to choose something. Mm. Possibility. Okay, three opportunity to possibility. Ana Claudia. Uh, opportunity. Opportunity. Four opportunity to possibility. Uh, Fernando. Opportunity. Five opportunity to possibility. And Ivan. All right. And let's see who else is. Francisco. Not here, Jose Wilfredo. Opportunity. Opportunity, everybody voted, right? So it seems it's going to be opportunity. Let's see the last one. It wasn't a bad crash and? Door small. number one. Small. Everybody agrees. Small damage. 
Uh -huh. mm, I'm between <laughs> little or small. <laughs> Think about it. For me, it's little. For you, it's little. Mm -hmm. And what? What mean mer, teacher? Oh, let's check on the dictionary. Can anybody check on the dictionary what is mer? Whenever you don't know a word, we have to go straight and check into that one. And please share with the people what is mer. Uh -huh, anybody has the answer? For me, it's a small, I guess. Small. Mm. Little. And anybody has found what is mer? Simple. Simple. Okay. Yeah, not that complicated. Very good. So I guess we need to we need to vote again because we are undecided. Uh, Fernando, which one? Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe little. Little, little one, Juan Miguel. Mm. Uh, I am thinking about other um, choice, maybe yeah. light damage. Light damage, okay. So, little one, light one. Jose Wilfredo. Little. Two little, one light. Yeah. Uh, Jose Rivas, are you here with us? Okay, Maria Alejandra. I think it's small. Small. Two little, one small, one light. Good. Heidi. I'm sorry? Um, it wasn't a bad question. Light. Light. So two little, one small, and two light. Anna Claudia? Small. Small. We have two, two, and two. This is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus. Mero. Mer, so we're getting there. <laughs> and uh, Suleyma Yvonne, are you here with us? All right. Danny. Light. Light is winning. And uh, has anybody missing? Jose Wilfredo, you say that already, right? Who? Yes, a little. Me, teacher. Ah, Giselle, go ahead, please. Sorry. Small. Small, my goodness. So, by now we have small and light with three boats, two with little and one with mirror. What do we do? <laughs> Let's read the sentence. It wasn't a bad crash and light damage. <laughs> small. <laughs> well, um, we need to decide I, on one. I, huh? I am I am thinking is light because Little is, uh, if I don't remember, uh, or, or if I remember good or well, little is for things that you can count, okay? Exactly. Uh, small is when you are comparing, compa comparar, comparing. Compare, mm -hmm. comparing two different sizes, okay? okay. For, in my mind, okay? Um, and light, it's when you have some uh, uh, that is not uh, much, how to say this, um, like, como muy intenso, um, solo por encimita, something like this. Like slightly. Okay. Uh huh. S slightly. Okay. Yeah. For mm, me, uh, the, for me, is 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 like okay. 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 But it's hard to measure something. Okay. Yeah, that is a good a good thing. Damage. How you how you measure damage? 
you say a lot of damage, you say big damage, you say, let's 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 make an exercise. Uh, we're doing this because remember that whenever you finish the um, English classes, it's supposed you are going to make a, a global certification. As I remember, it's going to be the TOEIC. TOEIC, it has around a thousand questions and you don't have time to think. I mean, you are going to have 25 minutes for this kind of questions. And sometimes you cannot stay in one question. If you are not sure, you just move to the next one, right? But this is an exercise that we're going to start doing. So you are getting into that one and you are able to identify what is the right answer. For example, in this kind of questions, one thing that I will do if I am not sure is to think, for example, what is the opposite? What is the opposite of little? And does it fit with damage in the sentence? Too much, maybe. Much damage, listen much. to that one. Much damage was done to my car. It could be, right? What is the opposite of small? Big. Big, big. big damage. Okay. <laughs> and the other For one, me... Light, what is the opposite? Light is Hurt. heavy. heavy. Heavy damage. Mm. Yeah. Can it be severe? Severe? It could be severe. The thing is that we need to think what is the the most the closest uh, one that is going to be the antonym of this one. So you can have an idea. But this is a good exercise. I can see that. The very good thing is that you are thinking and analyzing, so that's very nice. So, um, I need to choose one. Mini, mini, mo. Well, little, small, light. I guess the, the two finals were a little and small, right? It was that so? Yes. Okay, let's choose between little and small only, because light only has two, or I don't remember how many posts it was. It was, I guess, uh, three, three, two, and one, I guess. Yeah, I guess it was like that. So let's choose between little and small because those are the finals. So Heidi. Which one, Heidi? I, I had already said light, right? But now I, <laughs> I don't know if I changed my mind. It can be small. Small, one small. Juan Miguel. Mm. Mm. Small, maybe. Okay, two smalls. Jose Wilfredo. Um, little? Little, one and two. Uh, Ramon, I guess it's not possible. Jose Rivas, it's not possible, right? Maria Alejandra. It's small. One little, three smalls. Ana Claudia. Small. Okay, it seems the small is going to win. Giselle. Mm. It's small. Five smalls. And uh, Marcus? Sorry, uh, Mera, I said. I'm sorry? Yeah, I said Mera. I know, but between little and small, we are choosing only between oh, those. Okay. Small. Okay, small. Um, huh? small. Small. Small, okay. Fernando? Little. Little, okay. Uh, Jose Wilfredo? Not uh -huh. I'm sorry, between little and small. Small is winning by six votes. Three, uh, no, for five, uh, five, two, three, I guess. Um, well, little or small? Little or small? Okay, go ahead with small. Small, Danny. Little. Little Roxana. Not possible. Okay. So it seems that it's going to be small. 
And now, let me just check. Yeah, I guess this is the variant. Let's see. Oh, there are more. Ah, yes, it's the last one. So, uh, number 21, I'd rather you. Will explain. Will explain. Everybody agrees on this? Yeah, will explain. Will explain. Definitely. Perfect. Nice. Number 22, before making a decision, the leader considered old. Sides. Sides. Everybody agrees? Maybe sides. Sides. Oh, perspective. Perspective. Okay. Perspectives. Perspective. Mm. Uh -huh. Sides. Perspective. We have two and two, I guess. Anybody else? Yeah, perspectives. Perspectives. Okay. So the majority says perspectives. We're going to go with perspectives. Number 23, this new printer is recommended as being? Strongly. Strongly. Everybody agrees? Highly. 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 And the rest, we have two or three with highly. 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 Okay, let's take highly. Yeah, highly. Highly reliable, good. Number 24, when I realized I had dropped my gloves, I decided to. Return. No. Return. No. Retrace, maybe. Retrace. And the rest of the people? Return. I'm sorry? Return. 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 Mm -hmm. Return. Two returns and one retrace, I guess. And the rest of the people? Regress. Regress. Okay. Retrace. Retrace. Mm -hmm. So it seems that this is another one that we need to vote. Let's see how it goes. I hope there is no tie. Okay, so let's see. Uh, we're going to start with Ana Claudia. Uh, return? Return one. Marcus? Not possible. Juan Miguel? Mm. Return, maybe. Okay. Okay. Two returns. Um, Jose Rivas, are you here with us? No. Maria Alejandra. A return. Three returns. Okay. Seems that we're on our path. Heidi. Return. Return for Giselle. Um, retrace. Retrace one, return four. Fernando. Retrace. Retrace two, return four. Uh, Yvonne. Roberto Oriana. Not possible, okay. Um, Jose Wilfredo. Return. Return five, retrace two. Danny. Um. I'm doubting now, and uh, retraced. <laughs> Retrace, okay. Well, retrace was very close, but anyways, return is the winner. And this is actually, I guess, the last one. Anne's house is somewhere in the... You can check in the dictionary for the new words. That is valid. In the real test, you are not going to use dictionary, but here... We are learning. What? 
I'm sorry, quarter? Quarter. I'm sorry, there is a, like a cutoff. I am not able to understand. Do you hear me, teacher? Do you hear me now? I... Yeah, yeah. Okay, for me it's quarter. Quarter, uh-huh. And for me, teacher, is vicinity. 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 Very good, vicinity. What is vicinity? Anybody knows? For me, for me too, it's vicinity. Vicinity. What is that? It's like closer to something. Okay, closer to. Very good. Anybody else's? Vicinity has like two votes in quarter one, but I want to listen to the rest of the people. Vicinity. Vicinity. Okay. Yeah, vicinity. Vicinity. Yeah, but this is good. I mean, it's just a, it's just a check out. Okay. Let's see how it goes, my friends. If you won the car or if you didn't. Uh, this is taken. Ah, uh, here it goes. Um, okay, 18 out of 25 is what we have. Uh, no thanks by now. It's good or bad? Um, is a little bit more than intermediate. Is in the beginning of the advance. So let's say that is good. I mean, and uh, um, there are not the questions. Above uh, review, you review your answer. I... Oh, here is it. Yeah. Okay, number one was correct. So can I park here? only for half an hour. Just remember that the expression is half an hour or half past 12 or something like that, right? Because I know that in Spanish is seven and a half, but that is not correct. Number two, what color will you paint the children's bedroom? We can decide which was correct. Number three, I can't understand this email. Would you like some help? Very good. Number four, I like two tickets for tomorrow night. I'll just check for you. Nice. This was the first one where we were like thinking, is this or the other one? But it was this one because in the first one it says, I would like, so he's requesting something. And then the other person offers help. I will check. Okay. I will do it, of course. So whenever you use uh, will, remember the will and will, they are linked, right? They are kind of together. So that is a good trick. Number five, shall we go to the gym now? I'm too tired. This was also kind of easy. His eyes uh, were so bad, very nice. This was also another one that you were like, mm, we don't know, I'm not sure, but so was at the end the, the correct answer. His eyes were so bad that he couldn't read the number plate of the car in front. It's going to be so and not the other one because he's explaining a situation where it's so much, so, so much, that is it. Number seven, the company needs to decide once and for all what its position is on this point. Yeah, actually, this is something that Juan Miguel was pushing, right? So it's because of this and this, it was right. Once and for all is like, this is the very last time that I want to deal with this one. So I don't want <laughs> I don't want to think about this anymore. So let's fix this problem right once and for all. Very good. Okay, number eight. Uh, I guess yeah, it was good. Uh, don't put your cup on the edge. Very good. This was was kind of easy, I guess, because border and the other ones were not good. Okay, so I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you very good that was also easy and number 10 the singer ended the concert with this one also was a little bit of discussion but at the end was correct with her most popular song okay okay would you mind giving okay this was another one that we had under discussion giving or getting or which one is going to be but at the end it was giving, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Yeah, sometimes you, you need to analyze, right? When you have the time and you, you are enjoying this one, it's a very good thing to analyze and think why. What is this word? What is the meaning of this word? What is the meaning of this word inside of the sentence, right? Does it make sense? 
or not. Okay, this was wrong. I was looking forward at the new restaurant, but it was closed. So it was to eating. To eating. Okay, it was not only eating, but to eating. Okay, this is something that we haven't checked yet. We're going to check it. Today. I was so eating, okay, okay. In my and that one. So that, in this one, probably to eat, is it, it, it sounds a little bit better. But maybe it's because we haven't checked that grammar yet. When we check that grammar, then you will see, oh, okay, now it makes sense. Number 13 was correct. Um, no matter how, this one was uh, unanimous, right? Everybody agrees on this, okay? Number 14 was not correct. You say since, and it was that. So it was only 10 days ago that she started her new job. Um, this one is a little bit confusing. You might think that it's since. And in some situations, since it might be something like that. But whenever, um, this is like a clause. Remember that we're getting, we're putting together two sentences. So... Um, it's not like only one sentence saying since I was like this or since 1985, but in this case, it's a clause. So for you to put together two sentences, you need to use a specific word. And the most common word is that. So that is why this is not correct. Okay, number 15. Uh, the shop didn't have the shoes I wanted, but they ordered. Very good. A pair especially for me. Very good. Number 16. Have you got time to discuss your work now or are you about? This one also was under discussion, right? You were saying thinking or about. But it's very common to say, I'm about to leave right now. Do you need something? Because I'm about to leave. And it's a very common expression. It's something that is, is something that you need to learn because it's going to be very commonly there. Okay. okay, number 17 is also correct. She came to live here almost a month ago. I guess this was very clear and very easy. Number 18 is not correct. So, uh, yeah. Oh, this one, yeah. Yeah. You know, when you see the cars and when you are in the airplane, it says fast, fasten your yeah. seat, seat belt, right? Yeah. So, for many years, for many years, you, um, in my case, I have seen this, this um, rotulo in the buses. Uh, please fasten your seatbelt. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So actually, I thought that you were going to have this correct. And, uh, but well, the good thing is that now you know, okay? Remember that when you see the cars and you see the signs there, there is something that says fasten your seatbelts. So that is the word when it comes with security uh, and when you are in a car or when you are in a, in an airplane. The, the verb is going to be fasten, okay? Very good. Number 19 was also correct. I left my last job because I had no opportunity. Ah, here you were also thinking about it. I, I remember that we voted here. And at the end, opportunity was. The old ones seemed kind of very, very good, but this was the right choice. Number 20 was not correct, okay? It was small. Uh -huh. It was little, I was right. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, yeah. yeah, it was little, yeah. So you say small, but it's not. I mean, this one, uh, when you use small, when you use small, sometimes in this kind of sentences, you say a small thing. That's why I was telling you, read the sentence and it says, I, I was telling you, it wasn't a bad crush and, and I made the pause because it doesn't say an a small, a small something, right? Uh, that's why it was little. I was right. But with the little, uh, you can use a little. <laughs> uh, yeah, in this case, it's not possible. The thing is that little is possible to use it in different ways. In this case, it's going to be a little and no a because damage is uncountable, right? Yeah. yeah. 
but you cannot use small because small is just for countable things. A small damage, mm, no, not, not that good. A little damage was much better. Light also was a very good option, to be honest with you, but grammar is grammar, right? Number 21 was also incorrect, okay? I rather you explained why is like that one because this is a, do you remember that when we were uh, a while ago maybe in the intermediate five or something like that uh, we were checking about some clauses about um i would rather you and sometimes you use the next part in present i mean the next the, the word the verb is going to be in past but the action is in present if the action I is already in... remember, <laughs> exactly. yeah, you're right. So yeah, you're this right. is the grammar. Okay, so if that is in past, then you have to use the present perfect. If that was in the present perfect, you have to use the past perfect, and so on. So this is the grammar, and that one, and uh, this one was one of the ones that you say almost everybody said. Wool is playing, yeah, wool is playing. So, and my advice for you is to check that grammar, right? check those because we need to reinforce. The problem is that since we speak English only here in the class and we don't use this that much, sometimes we forget. That's why my friends, it's very important for you to speak in class. It's very, very important because in that way, you are going to uh, remember those things, right? So, and we can correct think, ourselves. Uh -huh. I think uh, for me, for example, <laughs> I uh, this could happen to me also in a Spanish accent. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Sometimes that happens. Wrong. Yeah, sometimes we have some habits that you translate into into English. There are many reasons why this is happening, and the most common is that one is because we don't use that grammar very much, very often. So we need to start speaking a little bit more. And that's why I'm going to bring more tests during this module. Uh, once or twice a uh, week. Actually, we're going to see, uh, we're going to check four other tests uh, next week. That is going to be every day, but it's going to be a very short one. It's not about English, it's about, about something else. But this is something that tells you uh, we need to reinforce something, right? Number 22 was also correct. Okay. So um, nobody says perspectives, right? Oh, yes, I just remember. Somebody said perspectives. Mm. Yeah. No, I, 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 I say sight. Me? The size, I say right? perspective. So, but at the end, I don't know. Uh, you, you, you were on the, on the right path at the beginning, and then sometimes something happened. Each is size, size of the argument. Very similar than in Spanish. Okay. Number 23 was correct. This new printer is recommending as being, in this one also we began doubting, but it's highly, it's highly recommended. Remember that one. That is very, very common in English, highly recommended. So it's highly reliable, highly uh, something. So it's an advert that it goes with this kind of situation. Number 24, that was not correct. When I realized I had dropped my clothes, I decided to, Okay, that was retrace. At the beginning, some of you were saying retrace, uh, but then uh, we got back to return. Remember that trace, what is trace? Yeah, I I, I said retrace. Yeah, but I say retrace. Because, Me too. Because, because you, are, you have a route, a route you, to trace. You, so when you it's, when you give back, sorry, when you came back, you retrace your route. But at the end, I I told you return. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's that's why we're doing this. But sometimes, I mean, the problem here is that there is only one correct answer, right? And the words, I mean, the tricky thing of this kind of question is that all the words are sometimes they they match, right? But you, you have to think about many other things. And yeah, retrace is, uh, as you say, trace is like a route, something that you are tracing like a, with a pencil or anything like that. And the word to go back is to retrace, okay? And not to return. 
So the verb is kind of different, that's why. Okay, and number 25, that was correct. Yeah, dictionaries are good. I believe that at the beginning, you didn't know what is vicinity. But if you go to the dictionary, you, you check the meaning, it says, ah, okay, is this one the correct one, right? When you know the meaning of the word, uh, of course, everything is easier. That's why vocabulary is very, very important, okay? And in this situation also, I mean, if you see the other three words that are, it doesn't match with the meaning, of course, even if you don't know the meaning of the fourth word, you say, well, it should be this one, right? This should be it. But at the end, I mean, this is the new word that we learned. Good, good. Any questions, any other comments about this uh, exercise that we have done? Okay, no comments. I like tests, so we're going to do some tests in this module just to check some things. Very good. Uh, well, it's uh, 8.55. We're going to check actually the attendance and then we're going to start with the homework that we have for today. And then I have another test that is a little bit different, okay? It's a little bit different from the one that we just made. So let's see. Ada Azucena Cáceres Mendoza. Ana Claudia González Velázquez, Cayuala. Present teacher. Good. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Good. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Good. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Bran Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Maria Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Good. Ramon Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Good. Sonia Guadalupe Benítez de Claros. And Suleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernandez. Present. Good. Perfect. Okay, so uh, yesterday I told you that we, um, today we were going to bring something about your family, the roots of your family. Where do you come from? And check what is the culture about your family. And uh, also you can speak about your uh, last names, both family names. Okay, or if you don't have the history of your family, because I mean, here in El Salvador, sometimes we we don't know, right, what happened before. Um, then we're going to speak about our, only our last names, our last name and the culture that comes from those last names. Where are they, what is the origin of those and things like that one, okay? So the question here is, who wants to be the first one? Uh, me, teacher. Good, Marcus. Okay, we're going to listen to Marcus. If you have questions, you can ask questions as well. Okay. Okay, perfect. So, um, my mother was born in San Marcos, and then she moved uh, to San Salvador. Uh, my father born in San Salvador, and they met in the same neighborhood close to La Mendona. My family mother has roots in, the, in a village called Estanzuela or Conte, I don't know the correct word, in the Sultan department. And sometimes we go to visit all the family there. We have a great quantity or amount of family there. And from my father's family, I don't know so much about the root of it. And that's all. Okay, very good. So speaking about that one, um, how do you believe is the culture of your family? Mm, the culture of my family, mm, I don't know. 
Um, yes. For example, um, from my mother, the culture of, of my family is from the countryside. <laughs> they are so, um, I don't know, so good workers, um, not so much technician, and they don't study or try to, to do a career. Um, and yeah, they are from the from the countryside and from my family. I don't know. I, I don't know so much about their family. Okay. He he has to to do his own life alone. <laughs> so oh, I see. Yeah. Okay, perfect. And uh by any chance um in your family you have discussed if part of your family come from other countries or something like that, or a family here in El Salvador? Mm, I don't know, uh, but what I I know is that I I have so much um family that have uh come from from El Salvador to another country like Canada, the United States, Costa Rica. Uh, they go to El Salvador. Oh, okay, uh, so they have migrated. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So perhaps in the future we can say that we have family from another another country. Okay, very nice. By any chance, have you checked about your last names, the origin of your last names, or mm -hmm. only your family? Mm, no, no. Uh, they are so common, like Rodriguez and Ayala is common in the suburb. I think it's from Spain. It's the two, the two. Last name. Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you very much, Marcus. Any question for Marcus? Well, I ask a lot of questions anyway. No questions. Good, perfect, Marcus. Thank you. Who wants to be the next? Mm. Okay, I'm uh, going to choose. Uh -huh. Who? <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, maybe. <laughs> we, we, uh, we continue. Continue. Okay. Okay. Um, my last names are Bran and Mejia, but uh, Bran, uh, the origin here in El Salvador, I I'm not very sure. Uh, where where he, where the last name comes from but um for my fame for my family i can say that uh, my my grandmother yeah my my grandmother uh whose name was rosamalia rosamalia cuchilla okay and the uh, brand, okay. Uh, and my grandfather, his name was uh, Miguel Penado Brand, okay. But I don't know why the the last names were uh, changed because <laughs> in my case I could be or I will be. Juan Miguel Penado, but not Bran. Okay, I don't know what what had happened in 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 the uh, alcaldia, city hall, in the city hall that uh, the last names were changed. Okay. Oh, this um, used to happen. Yeah, yeah, and uh, um, the they are from uh, Usulután, both of them. Okay, my grandmother and my grandfather. And uh, through the years, I have known many people with the last name. And uh, when I ask when I ask them, uh, where are you from or where are your family from com comes from or come from, uh, they they told me, uh, my family is from Usultan. So at the end, 
uh, all the people that I know or that I have known in in my life at the end we we are kind of relatives okay but uh they 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 say to me or or they told me uh, okay my my mom is uh maria for example and my father is pedro for example but uh, we um we have encountered como como hemos llegado al tope y no sabemos qué más pasa i don't know how to say this in in english so you reach the top and you don't know okay what else. Uh -huh. uh, and we don't know what else is uh, or what else had happened before but uh, here in the country the origin from this last name is from usultan that is all the people have con concluded uh, and i i have known many people and all all of them their parents or their grandparents are from Usultan, okay? But if we go further, uh, the last name uh, is uh, from Spain, okay? Uh, and maybe uh, the last name uh, is from Catal Catalonia, Catalonia. I don't know how to say this. Yeah, Catalonia. Catalonia, okay. And uh, I don't know that I'm from very, uh, or long time ago, that I don't know where is the real origin because the this, this last name brand has many variants uh, who are almost related to Romania uh, in the, like, you, you could tell that I am crazy, but uh, in Romania was the, uh, the, in Romania, there is a castle from the, um, if I don't remember bad, from the Conde, I don't know how to say this in English. The Count. 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 The Count of Bram Stoker Dracula. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> and if, if, yeah, if you search this, this uh, last name, uh, is it related with, with this, with this uh, person, but, and, and how his own castle and all the things. And if you go and search, on Google, there is a castle name, uh, Castle uh, Bram Bram Castles, but the last name is not with N at the end. It's is with M, M from mother. Okay, yeah. not not N from uh, nothing. Okay, but the last name have been. Come, uh, how to say this, like. Uh, they are, it has been um, has been changed through time yeah through times and obviously from uh, one language to another language okay uh, uh, this is for Bran and for Mejia uh, it's weird too because my mom uh, her name is Anna Cristina and my my grandmother, his real name is Dorotea Cabrera, but I don't know why, and for what reason, she changed his, her her name to Maria Mejia. So it it's a weird situation. So, uh, they, uh, she she's from uh, Usurutan too, but. Berlin, okay, not not from the, the capital, no, capital, no, no, no uh, como la cabecera departamental, uh, the head of the department, uh -huh. 
she she's from Berlin, and she met a man who was my grandfather, and his name was Pastor Bonilla. So my mom was born in Berlin, and obviously uh, she had to name Ana Cristina Bonilla Cabrera. But with all the, with all this disorder <laughs> with the last names, my mom is Ana Cristina Mejia Bonilla, known also known as Ana Cristina Bonilla Cabrera. So we have a, a this disorder or disorder. I don't know how to say this exactly in, in a, Spanish. A mess. Uh, a mess. Yeah, a mess with. <laughs> With the name, with the last names in in my family, because uh, my name is Juan Miguel Bran Bonilla at the beginning, but through the years uh, we discovered this mess. So my mom has to has to follow or has to have to be a, a identity. Uh, What's your identity? I don't know how to say this. Yeah, it's a trial, identity trial. Identity trial, yeah. And uh, for this, my sister and I had to uh, had to do the same. So today, my name is Juan Miguel Bran Mejia, also known as Juan Miguel Bran Bonilla. So <laughs> all of my life, uh, until 2012, my name was, in, in my head, my name only was Juan Miguel Brambonia. Okay, but at this point, I had to, to, to take this identity trial in order to, to have uh, my name in the right situation. So I, I, my name is now Juan Miguel Bran Mejia, also known as Juan Miguel Bran Bonilla. It's a mess, a highly mess that they, that they did in the past and uh, it's, it's still affecting uh, to my sister and I. It's a, a mess, a completely mess. Uh-huh. Okay, very interesting. Yeah, you know, that happened here in El Salvador a lot. A lot of family, a lot of people, they have to change the uh, last names or sometimes it's one, one letter in the name or last name that is making that different. So there are many things that that like that, that has happened because in the past it was like, I'm going to put it like this. Or maybe the, the person in the register in the city hall, they made a mistake and that's it, right? So you didn't know. Uh, so yeah, that has happened, and that's one of the reasons why sometimes it's difficult to trace the history of yeah. your family, right? Because I mean, you yeah. you're not sure what's what's going on. What's what is I, al I also now know that uh, my grandfather had many, uh, many child, many children. So they are uh, obviously. Elder, elder man and elder woman, but my mom knew that by she didn't uh, meet them. Um, I think they were like twelve brothers and sisters, but my my mother never met them because uh, I don't know what, and I don't know why uh, uh, my grandfather didn't do anything for a uh, for uh try to um reun reunite uh, reunite the family and uh, she died when my mom had he died sorry when my mom had about eight or nine years so it was so long time ago. I think it's for all that my mom doesn't know who who are their who are their siblings. Uh -huh. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that is true. Those things, all those things, like uh, the typical family in Salvador, right? Yeah, a mm -hmm. lot of children. We don't know why this. The last name of this one is like this, and the last name of this one is different. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's difficult. It's difficult to trace back people, back in history, to check what are your roots, what are your origins. So, but I mean, your explanation was very, very good. <laughs> <laughs> like I mean, I try to. Uh, definitely. So, anybody has a question for Juan Miguel Brand? Okay. Uh, who wants to be the next one? Hello. I will. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, okay. My. my... My last name is Gonzalez. Okay, Gonzalez is very common among Spanish people. Uh, it's come from Hispania, current Iberian Peninsula. I read on the internet that that surname, surname uh, brought to American by the Visigoths and has a patronymic origin. Uh, because its et etymology is Gonzalo, which means ready to fight. Ooh. And the suffix S, which means son of. So, sons of Gonzalo are Gonzalez. And about my, my family, uh, my mother was born in Zaragoza, La Libertad. And my father was born in San Salvador for different reasons that I don't know. Both of them ended up living here in El Congo, Santa Ana. And I was born here. My entire life, I have living here. And uh, when I was a month, my father passed away. So my mother uh moved away from my paternal family so i hardly know anything about them and but for me i have only one family my maternal family and i have a big family by the way six sisters one brother and a lot of nephews and for me my my history my history, family history is here in El Congo because uh, my mother moved, moved here when she was four years. So the, her entire life living here too. And I, we have family in Zaragoza, but we don't, we don't know um, anything. So that's my story. Very good, very interesting. Thank you. Yeah, that is also something that is kind of common, right? Sometimes uh, you get raised only by your mother is the most common. You have lots of brothers and sisters. And um, uh, also what you say about your family last name, that is interesting. So at the end, probably far, far away, your family is from Spain, right? So maybe like three or four generations before. Like the majority teacher. Yeah, that is the majority true. The here. Yeah, that is true. So the most of the people here, they the family is related one way or another to Spain, right? So related to the king of Spain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have to go to Spain and say that one. Look at my last name, man. I, I'm European. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. Perfect. Any questions for Fernando? Good. So now I guess Jose Wilfredo, right? Yeah, sure. Okay. Well, my last name is Ayala. And that comes from my father. And I only knew that they are from Santana, a part of my, uh, because my father died in an accident when they're going from Santana to Sonsonate. Near to the south, I don't know if you know that there is a bridge. My aunt was driving and 
I don't know what happened, and the truck fell down into the river, and three and three died, and well, the uh, I was a little boy when that happened. Then, uh, sorto, it's for my mother that my grand my great great grandfather came from French and he met my great grandmother and they were lucky in Opico and my grandmother's family were founders of Santa Tecla and I have certainly sort of from them. In mine, that is a very nice cultural thing. So in mine, how is everything going? Good. And uh, do you have a lot of family there in, in Santa Tecla? I mean, you yes. live there right now, right? Yes, I live in Santa Tecla. And okay. I have a lot of family. Interesting. But most of them, uh, they moved to to U.S. when they weren't. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that is another thing that it was coming at those days, right? So, yeah, move on. that's Very fine. Good. And you are, you have like a French blood in your in your body, that's good. Man. Yeah, Interesting. That's right. <laughs> Just a little bit. We have oh, it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> that is so true. Very interesting. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. Any questions for Jose Wilfredo? Anybody? Okay. Who wants to be the next one then? Okay, I'm going to choose then. Let's see. Let's listen to... Heidi. Okay, teacher. Uh, my last name is Salguero. Salguero is a tree from Spain. Uh, my great-grandpa came from Spain and they lived in Santa Ana. So my, my family is from Santa Ana. Uh, uh, one special thing about my family I can tell is that we got we got doctors, we got lawyers, we got engineers, but we we don't have um how do you say comerciantes? Business people. Businessmen, business people. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We don't have that kind of oh, oh I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe it's not. And another special thing about our family is that we got a uh, uh, baby Jesus. This one's uh, you put in 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 the how do you say nacimiento, teacher? Um. Well, to be honest with you, that in English, I guess it doesn't. Huh? <laughs> in, oh, really? uh, where where Jesus was born, if you can say by now. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, we got uh, this baby Jesus for for. 300 years, it has come from generation to generation. It's very old, but it's beautiful. It's very special to all of us. Very interesting. And how did you get that one? I mean, who bought that one or created that one? Uh, I, I, I just know it comes from the family, my great grandpa. Uh, we have a list from the, from the, uh, from the member of the family that's been in charge of, of putting him every single December 24th. In mind, that is very interesting. Mm -hmm. And that is made of what kind of material? It's made of clay? What's clay? Um, like the regular ones that they sell in Salco, they are made of clay. It's something like that? Uh-huh, it's something like that. Ah, okay. But it's very old, I mean, it's, um, they haven't painted it. It's the same way. And what size is it? It's very small. Mm, okay. Very it's good. Very In my... And my, 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 my grandparents used to put this, this big nacimiento all over the, the, the garage with toys that moved and, and all of the neighbors came to, came up to see it. And that was in Santa Ana? Uh-huh. 
Mm, maybe I saw that once. I mean, there was something like that near uh, near downtown, near the Central Park, like four blocks from Central Park. Is that so? No, no. They live the um on the way to Metapan. Ah, okay. No, I didn't. I didn't see. There's that. this gas station. Okay. They lived in front of a gas station. Mm -hmm. In my very interesting. So, and do you still set all the nacimiento? Uh, you oh. know, my my grandpa already passed away, mm -hmm. so my uncle is now in charge, and he still does. Okay, in my mm -hmm. very good. So very good because this is part of your culture, right? Something that you mm -hmm. have. I mean, and it's very, very interesting how um, how our family takes care of things in that one, right? So. Mm -hmm. And we are all expecting because my my uncle is 66 years old. By the way, he says, one six more and I'm the devil. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, okay. and we are all expecting who is going, he, he's going to inherit this baby yeah. Jesus. Mm -hmm. hey, Am I very good? Well, let's continue with the tradition, which is very important. Mm -hmm. Very good, perfect. Thank, Thank you, Heidi. You. Anybody has a question for Heidi? No questions. Good. Thank you. Okay. Who wants to be the next one? Okay. I'm going to choose. Let's see. Francisco Eduardo. Hello, Francisco. I know you are there. Don't hide. Not possible. Okay. Let's listen then to Maria Alejandra. Hi, teacher. Hello. <laughs> Uh, in my case, I thinking for the um, <laughs> this topic, and I think that I don't have a lot of information for my last name uh, because I don't have the opportunity to know to my grandmother and my grandfather to my or the upside for my father. But I know that um, my last name is Barrientos and my grandfather uh, born in Santana. And I think that Barrientos is very popular in Santana. And my grandmother, for side of my mother, uh, was live in, lived in a libertad and then translate to los planes de rendero and my grandmother lived here near to uh, the first uh, kilometers to planes de renderos and me too <laughs> okay and, go ahead, go ahead. only that I I uh -huh. I don't know a lot of a lot of information for that origins or the other point or uh -huh. I don't know. <laughs> okay, by any chance were you able to research where it comes the Barrientos last name from? No teacher, sorry, today I have a lot of problems. <laughs> Okay. I I don't remember. I did uh -huh, the the homework. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't worry. Okay, and do you uh does your family has any tradition that you can share with us? Um, no, teacher. I only know that my father have a lot of or have a property or. Uh -huh, our real uh -huh, properties in Santana, and I ha and he had the opportunity to notificar. Uh, to make houses, that's it. 
do a I have to make house. Uh -huh, because I am. And for that reason is that my grandfather lived in Santana and my father stay a lot of time to live here. And for tradition, no teacher. I think that I only have contact with my mother family. And in, um, make a, I don't know, to eat for a different date or like this, but a specific uh, or a special uh, custom, no. Okay. Or traditions. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you, Maria Alejandra, for sharing. With okay. Us. Anybody has a question to Maria Alejandra? No questions. Let's check uh, Ramon Enrique. Is it possible for you? Not possible. Roberto Rellena, is it possible for you? Not possible. Jose Rivas. Yes, teacher. Okay. Good. Tell us about you and your family and your last names. Uh, okay. So actually, my grandfather and also my grandmother. So uh, he was born on Cerro Guasapa, and also she was born in the same place too. And actually, so related to my last name, I was like checking on Google, so that Rivas so is. It's coming from French and Spanish, uh, sur uh, like search name. So, and also actually from Spain, uh, meaning so like the river bank, but it's not like the, the, the correct last name, right? So, because uh, it's like with B as in boy. So, uh, and that last name is coming from Spain, and the meaning is river bank. No, so I was checking that actually my last name Rivers, so Rivas, sorry. So in the United States is the 700, uh, 743rd most popular search name. Um, that's it. <laughs> okay, very good. So you see that you are part of Spanish, so nice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And okay. French too. I and know, French, too. in my end. So we never know, right? We never know. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> maybe if you trace your family back to those countries, maybe you have you will find family there, and it's going to be easier for you to go there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we never know. Very yeah, good. Nice. Yeah. Uh, anybody has a question for Jose Rivas? Okay. Perfect. Thank you, Jose Rivas. You're welcome. Okay, now we're going to listen to Francisco Eduardo. Hello, teacher. Hello. Yeah, tell us then about your family and your last names. Okay, uh, in my case, uh, for, uh, for the way for my, my mother, uh, she was born in La Union, uh, but in, in uh, uh, near to uh, uh, teacher uh, for stay frontera, but the, the limits, the limit, not the not the uh, not the institution uh, is for the say frontier. Yeah, the frontier or the border, oh, border, border. border, border. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, she was born in a, a, a town. Uh, is uh, near to border uh, with Honduras. And in in the case of my father, uh, she uh, he was born in Jujutla, in Nahuatlpan. In but my uh, uh, 
last thing uh, I <laughs> I not uh, have uh, an idea that uh, uh, how do you say a uh, raised teacher or, or root root uh, that the, the root but in in, in the my my uh, my last thing here is is a uh, in this in this one is a uh, uh, a little common. Okay. Mm -hmm. And just that is true. <laughs> ah, okay, very well, perfect. So your parents, uh, one was from La Unión and the other one was from Huachapan. Right, is true. <laughs> in my and that thing. So how did they met? Do you know? Uh, my mother. Uh, she uh, come to work in to Wakahuta. And, and in this moment that uh, they okay imagine so imagine if you are looking for the love of your life maybe it's on the other side of the of the country that is interesting very good Perfect. Thank you, Francisco. Anybody has a question for Francisco? No questions. Very good. Thank you. Okay, let's listen now to Suleyma Yvonne Moreno. Not possible. Okay, let's listen then to Danny Josue. Okay. Um, well, um, the history of my family and my father uh, is from Chinameca, San Miguel. <laughs> okay. And he, well, uh, actually, um, the Garcia uh, was a, a, a Mm, it, it wasn't the or oh, it won't be the it wouldn't be the 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 last name because uh, my grandfather is Argeta <laughs> um so they he didn't recognize my father right as a son uh, and all the things um well, um, Algeta is a very common uh, last name in Jamaica. Uh, there are many, many, many people that have a lot of uh, family with that uh, 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 last name. So, um, well, the the last name Garcia was from my grand grand uh, father and uh, who 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 writes my father right um and then and my father uh, went to live to Samuel and in, in where. Uh, knew my mom or meet my mom my mom my mom is from Samuel Samuel they 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 they, they are meet uh, right there so um my my th this last name uh, Garcia is is from Spain is the most common I think uh, last name Spain uh, from uh, is a uh, Pasco from País Pasco okay uh, it have a meaning in this in this language from Pasco Pasco has uh, uh, their own uh, language uh, is Ga, ga, mm, uh, I can 
got it. So I got to see. I, I, I don't remember, but this have a this have a a, a meaning. <laughs> this the I think is young, something like that. Okay. Um Martinez is um is from um, I think it's from Spain also, but he this last name came from the Middle Age or something like that. Uh, yeah, uh, very, very, very Asian last name. And it came from, I, I agree that uh, Martin, something like that, the name Martin. And then this uh, lawyer, something like that, to, to the last name. And but um, it was for uh, people like very high position, social position, like Condes. Uh, I, I was reading that the Conde from, I don't remember, it was Martinez, then another in the, in the Catholic Church, some, uh, someone on the high, the high, in, I, I I can remember, but it's a high position. It was a Martinez, and, and that uh so very very interesting. <laughs> but this is my story from my family and my last name. Okay, very good, perfect. So it seems that if you look and you trace back into your history, maybe you are going to find a castle for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe right. you need to you need to do it. <laughs> Conde, right? In my hello on my yeah. own. <laughs> here I come. Yeah, yeah I here I good. come. I'm Martinez. <laughs> I, I will show you pupusas. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, very good. Interesting. You know, sometimes that happens. Sometimes we discover a little bit more about. Um, I mean, maybe that is a long, long time ago, but it's part of our family, right? So something like that. Yeah. Good, perfect. Anybody has a question for Danny? No questions. Okay, let's listen then to Roxana. Roxana, hello, my cousin. Hi, good evening. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I was talking with my my mother and my father, and my mother told me that uh, she come from Tenancingo. This is a municipality of the Cuscatan department. Her last name is Leon, and most of the um, Leon's relatives lived in that place. I don't, I don't know why uh, when people uh, born in a village, all the family live there. It's totally different when someone is was born in in the city. Because when someone uh, was born in the city, maybe when you growing up, you, you move in the in the city around around the city or you move another department. But in her case, she told me that there was of the family lived too close because it, it is a little um, village or town. Yeah, mm -hmm. and on the other hand, my father uh, was born here in San Salvador. His last name is Asensio, and the same. His uh, family lived near, near to Nervi, no, nearby, nearby. Thank you. And she, he told me that uh, he remembered that uh, the Asensio's uh, relative was a uh, fewer group, but they live uh, too close. But then they move another to another place and she and he um, lost contact with some relatives. Well, and they meet, my father and my mother meet when uh, my mother, um, come to San Salvador because um, he, she migrated dur during the war. 
because in that time the war was very uh, hard in that uh, in that uh, village. She told me that when he was when she was uh, a kid, um, she remembered that uh, the officials uh, was looking for um, some men or a little guys and took them into the worm, you know. So uh, that's why she she and her family moved to uh, San Salvador city because uh, here live um, an uncle, I guess. And then she she start to study in the Central de Señoritas and meet my father and you know the rest of the history. And, but she told me that when she lives in the when she lives in Tenancingo, she got some uh, tradition. Uh, for example, when they have a special uh, special occasion or birthday or something like that, the rest of the of the person uh, of the town usually visit uh, to your family and without um, invitation, I don't know, maybe, uh, no sé, es como, como que se, se invitaban solos. They get invited themselves. Yeah, they get in, invited by themselves because, uh, I don't know, maybe someone mentioned uh, something about uh, special things and the voice was running in the town and the rest of the people, uh, I don't know, assist, assistant or attend to the, to the house. And, you know, then you have uh, a lot of people in your house. And it, I remember that the, it was a tradition very popular in, in, in towns because when someone is, when someone died, it's the same. I remember when uh, a relatives of my mother died and uh, she told me that the tradition in that uh, village was uh, visited your house uh, when you have a special or event like that and you, maybe you you don't know who is the person that stayed there but it's part of the village and stay there it's very weird but it's a tradition I don't know if that village or there or if a tradition in the rest of the village I don't know but uh, she told me that is it was a uh, very popular in in that place and let me see in addition um, I know relative some relative some relatives of my mother's, but not all because they were a lot. And my in, in my in my father's side, I guess, yeah. I know them because uh, he just has uh, four siblings, and that's it. Maybe the family of my, the relative, the relatives of my father were uh, fewer than my mother. And that's why I know uh, some uh, histories about that, but it's very different because uh, maybe my, my family was um, more contact with uh, her relatives because they are a lot in the in the village but in my father's case uh, he lives in San Salvador and when he was uh, around 20 or less 
he lost contact with them because uh, they moved to another department. Okay, very interesting. Yeah, sometimes that happens, right? Sometimes they move, uh, they, I don't know, so many things happen. So the family of your father, uh, the one that gives you the Asensio last name, and that is from San Salvador? Yes. Well, my father was from San Salvador, but I don't know the story, to be honest with you. Maybe well, we'll to be go... honest, he told <laughs> me that he was born here in Santa Lucia. Mm, okay. He knows uh, the, uh, a lot of history about the Ilopango Lake and place close to there because they live there. So that's why I know that he lives in San Salvador, just in San Salvador. Okay, Mayan. So it's very interesting, yeah, how everything uh, moves in the way that we are right now. So it's very interesting. Good, good. And uh, anybody has a question to Roxanne? No questions. Very good. So, yes, this was very interesting because we get to know, first of all, our culture, right? And maybe, yes, maybe uh, to research on the Internet about our last name is not a big deal, you might think. But then you understand that if you have that last name, it comes from there, right? I mean, you are connected with people on the other side of the planet. And that... Uh, Sadly, as we say before in El Salvador, we don't have uh, the way for us to research about who was the mother of your great grandfather and things like that was. So you can actually, I imagine that if we were able to do something like that, we will be connected with people from other countries and maybe we can find a lot of family. So that would be very, very interesting. And another thing is the culture that we have, right? I mean, we share a culture right now in El Salvador about uh, many things that are we are living through every day, but there is a, a culture that comes with us. I mean, traditions that come with us. So a question for everybody, how can we improve the transmission of our culture to our descendants? What do you think? Maybe if we can get some contact with, or uh, the with the rest of our relatives, we can improve some uh, tradition about our family or about our uh, town, maybe. But it's weird because, uh, for example, us when we live in the in the city, it's a little complex. Visit the town. It's weird when you visit the rest of the family that live in another uh, department or in another town, because you live. You you are usually you have the the. ¿Cómo sería? Como que usted tiene la costumbre ya de vivir de su en una misma sintonía. So you 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 live. You have a a way to live. So it's weird be, for you because you you don't usually. Uh, do different things or traditions, but maybe if we have contact with uh, all our family, maybe we could improve. Okay. Yeah, actually that is a good idea. I mean, to, to get in touch with our family. Sometimes that happens to me. Sometimes we get together with people, right? People that maybe I didn't know. And we get together and they start telling me stories. Hey, you know, your mom once did this and this and this. Or she went with me to this place. Or when she was a little girl, she used to do things like this. And, and then you get to enrich your culture. And you are able to tell the stories to your kids or to, to, to do a trace, right? So to get in touch with people uh, within your family to visit maybe once in a blue moon, not so often, but maybe once a year, or once every two years. It's a very good idea. So we can get that those connections that is going to help us get more the cultures. Any other ideas on how to transmit and how to keep our culture?
anybody. Maybe teacher throughout preserving our traditions because um, nowadays our traditions are forgotten. Mm -hmm. uh, in in grand parte. In a big part, in a big part, yeah. In a big part, okay. In a big part because the pandemic affects us. Uh, for for example, the uh, the September fifteenth. Uh, I don't know how to say the speed. <laughs> the parade. The parade. Okay, the parade of September fifteenth. Uh, it's. It's lost the last two years, and I I have my my I have my children in in the schools. And this year, uh, this year, uh, tampoco neither. Neither, huh? Uh -huh. This year, neither neither we we have the parade. The the school only only they do uh some. I don't know art in in the schools, mm -hmm. but the parade is is lost, and that is part of our culture. And like this tradition, all our tradition uh, is in the same way. That is a true. That is a, a big problem actually that is happening not only in El Salvador but everywhere around the world. So since because of globalization and also because of the media that is impacting a lot our world, the world that we're living right now. Um, so a lot of traditions are getting lost. So yeah, maybe whenever you have the chance, you can go with your family to any of those events. I mean, there are many events that are happening. I know that some of those are difficult because are in the weekdays, but whenever it's possible, we can give it a shot. We can get them and get to know a little bit more about our culture and transmit that one, right? Good. Any other opinion on this? How we can keep our culture or transmit a culture to new generations? What do you think? No other examples. And uh, what traditions do you believe are getting lost? I mean, do you remember any tradition that when you were a kid, it was very strong and now maybe disappear or is disappearing? General teacher, uh, there is a, a thing that, that it's happened in, 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 the, in the society. Uh, leyendas, I don't know how to say if, if the right name is uh, um, you can say a legend okay, the legend like the CPT or the Siguanaba or something like this uh, in the school uh, I remember that uh, in idioma it's the name or was the name of, of the of the of the uh, subject. yeah of the subject uh, we we saw and we researched information about uh, where the where these legends come from who are the 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 characters what they do what they don't do and all all of this and I remember that when I was a, a kid, like uh, maybe three years ago, I used to uh, believe in El Cipitio or La Ciguanaba. But right now, I don't. I don't think that any of of the kids uh, act, uh, actually or huh? in, in the nowadays. Nowadays, yeah. I, I don't think they they believe in 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 this kind of of studies okay 
So I think one of oh, the big parts of our story as a Salvadorans is it, it gets uh, lost through the time. Uh, maybe because uh, there are topics that uh, people consider more important than these kind of topics. Uh, um, what else? Maybe uh, we have the, uh, I don't know how to say this in English, fiestas patronales. Yeah, like the holidays for the city. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, we have the city holidays, but uh, I remember that uh, when I was a kid, my, my father and my, obviously my family with my father, my mother, and my sister, uh, we went to leave the holiday time or the vacation time, especially in August. Uh, we went to the park where all the fair is, it was a, um, it's a, como, como, a, a, the place where the fair were and a, there were a, horses, a, and man who was riding the horses and he, um, participating in the Carrera de Cintas. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I think this year, this year, I went to see the um, desfile. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know how to say this. The parade. Okay, the parade. But uh, there are many characters, uh, many legends, characters like the Cipitillo, Sibonaba, some some uh, characters like this. But uh, going to the park and see all these kind of situations related to the holidays uh, in this time, it has been lost because people, they prefer go to the uh, amusement park, Parque de Atracciones, yeah? Or to yeah, the yes. Reras and something yeah. like this. And they don't go to the, to the real place where the tradition is, okay? And uh, I remember, obviously, uh, because of the Catholic uh, church or Catholic religion, uh, there is a uh, a big uh, event uh, about the Salvador del Mundo, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, the transfiguration and uh, things like like that. I went a couple of times when, obviously, when I was a kid, uh, there were many people uh, but through the time this tradition in my family had has been lost uh, and in my case you are not asking to me but i have to say that i don't like to go where uh, there are many 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 people uh, re reunited so i prefer not to go there i prefer spend time with my kid in a in a park uh, but uh, the thing that i missed is that i was talking about going to a park and leave the this the fair the fair spirit i think is one of the things who has been lost through the time okay at at least at least here in san salvador here in the capital because there are uh, fiestas julias, uh, there is uh, jaripeo and things like this. And people go to that place, but here in San Salvador, I don't know why this tradition has been lost. 
Okay. Yeah, I believe that that is happening. I mean, yeah, all traditions are not the same. And uh, I believe another thing that it has impacted a lot is the, the pandemic, right? Because, for example, what Fernando said, that there won't be any parade this year, uh, that stopped because of that one. That one was like, it's not possible anymore. So a lot of things has changed, and uh, that is impacting our, our world. Well, anyways, it's time to go home for a while. Well, you are home right now, but to sleep, I mean. So we're going to check the attendance. Do you have any questions before we finish today? Okay, so let's check and then let's rest. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Good, gotcha. Uh, Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Danny Josue Garcia Martinez. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Good. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Present teacher. For you is the 101 today, Francisco. Present. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Good. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Good. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present, teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Brand Mejia. Present, teacher. Good. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present, teacher. Good. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Good. Sonia Guadalupe Benítez de Claros. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Good. Perfect, my friends. It was a pleasure to be with you. We close the first week. See you next Monday. Rest very well. Enjoy your weekend and dream in English. Thank you. Good night to everyone. Good night, Bye. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Hello, Francisco. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm uh, just feeling a, a little tired, but uh, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. You know, uh, whenever you work and then go to English classes, I know it's hard. But the good thing is that we're moving on, right? Right, teacher. <laughs> That's okay. a good idea. <laughs> yeah, of course. Let me ask you, do you have any questions about the topics we have checked in these or the other models, the previous models? Um, a specific topic? No, teacher. Uh, uh, I think... It, uh, in this level, uh, for me, the 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 hard the hard part is uh, uh leave to to translate, uh, uh, because uh, I I I have the idea when I say uh, something, but uh, I um, uh, usually I translate the the idea is it, it not uh, a teacher how do you say <laughs> it doesn't flow if this flow <laughs> okay teacher uh, I, I think uh, for me in this moment is the, the, the most uh, difficult uh, part uh, but uh, because uh, in the other hand uh, I uh, 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 for the listening, uh, I think it's uh, uh, I improve uh, a little, uh, but the, the most difficult is is uh, to transmit the the idea. And in the in the I think that the for me the other problem is uh, I need to increase my vocabulary. Okay, yeah, you are right. Uh, for you to 
speak a little bit more fluent, you need to improve your vocabulary. You can read, you can uh, check exercises online and that is going to help you. If you read, uh, look all the words, the new words, but look them in a dictionary, Not uh, do not translate them and you will be able to improve. So this is something that you can do in your free time with readings about topics that you enjoy. And you can read, I mean, 10 minutes, 10 minutes and look for words, and that is going to be good enough. Okay, teacher. Uh, the, and this is the, 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 uh, the part uh, for I need a, a work. Uh, a, how do you say dedicate, teacher? Dedicate. To dedicate, yeah. Okay. The, the, dedicate a, uh, or uh, a, in index time and for a, for that, for a, a, in, improve that, that area. Yeah. I mean, if you continue reading, if you get more vocabulary and try to speak in class, it's going to be better. So, um, yeah, it's something that you can check. I mean, you, you can watch TV in English, uh, TV shows that are not that difficult to understand or movies that you already know what is going to happen so you can focus on, on what they are saying. So that is going to be a good idea. Okay, teacher. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Okay, Francisco, it was a pleasure to be here with you. I see you next Monday and rest very well. Thank you, teacher. You too. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Have a good night. Thank you.